welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. This palette I think dropped last week on Anastasia Beverly Hills website and also on Ulta.com's website. When I first saw the pictures, I was like, ooh, that looks nice, but I don't know if it's for me. You know, it looks kind of cool tone, purple, okay, I mean, I don't really know. Then I saw the promo of like it on people and I was like, yes, I need this. So that was a while ago. I think that was like a month ago. So, you know, people began to receive it in PR and then I was like, oh yeah, this is nice. So I took a, took a poll on my Insta story and people were like, yes, they want to see the review. So then I ordered it on Alta.com and I never received my package and then I had it reshipped and, you know, it was a whole lot of drama. Any whoosie, I got the palette. I present to you Norvina, which is a beautiful lilac. Is this lilac or lavender? Whichever one it is, it's gorgeous. And you know, it's the 14 shade palette as per usual. And these are the shades that come in the palette. I don't know if you guys could really see it that well. And the signature brush is in there, which I actually really love this brush. So this palette retails for $42, just like all the other palettes. So you guys know, if this is your first time, welcome to the Love Beat family. And if this is not your first time, you already know what time it is, okay? So I'm gonna need you guys to subscribe, keep coming back, keep watching videos, and also put your bell on for notification because your girl is uploading and I need you to be notified, okay? So without further ado, let's just get into the tutorial. So to begin, I am going to prime one eye with the Fenty Beauty Amplified Eye Primer. Let's just see if this does anything special to the eyeshadow. I'm gonna do the left eye. I'm gonna set up with eccentric right here. And I am using the brush that comes in this palette. Now, y'all, I actually love this brush that comes in all Anastasia palettes. It's actually life. Like, it's bomb. No other palette that I have has such a usable brush. But you know what? Actually, I'm going to start off with my Sigma E40 brush first because, you know, I like to put that wash of color very, like, liberally on my crease before I start anything. So we're definitely getting more pigmentation with the primer. So that's the eye with the primer. This is the eye without. You can barely see that shadow that I'm putting down there. Wow. So, hmm, the primer is intensifying the pigment. So I think I'm gonna do a cut crease today. I'm trying to be a little more fancy with it, you know. I'm gonna go back with the brush that comes in the palette. I'm gonna take Poison right here. And that is going more in my crease. We need to shape my crease. Now, I'm getting a lot of kick up in the pan, um, but I'm not seeing a lot of fallout on my eyes. I'm happy about that. These shadows are actually pretty, pretty nice to work with. Um, I always like Anastasia's shadow. Like, Anastasia's eyeshadow is one of my favorites. This passion color is really nice. It's looking kind of purplish. Hmm. I didn't expect purpley color from it, though. So let's try to cover that up. Right? Do you all see that? That purple in there? Where the hell did that come from? Wow. I want a little bit more in my crease. I just want the look to have a little bit more oomph. I don't want it to be so subdued. So I'm gonna go into my Zulu palette from uh, Juvia's Place. And I'm gonna take this purple color right here. I really want my crease to be vibrant. I'm not only using shadows from the Norvina palette. I'm gonna add a little bit onto it to get what I want. And, you know, I think that's what we do anyway, right? Rarely do I just use one palette, one palette to create an eyeshadow look. The tones in this palette are very cool tone. And I just need something a little bit more vibrant and a little bit more warm. And Zulu is doing that for me right now. All right, so we're looking real purple right now. I'm going to cut my crease with Fenty Beauty. Then I'm gonna go in with Wild Child, which is a beautiful pinky. Oh my god, wow, that 
color is beautiful. It looks very pink in the pan, but when you put it on, it's like a rose gold. Wow. And there is a shade in the palette called Rose Gold, so I'm excited to see how that one is going to look. So I'm just putting this basically in the center of my eye. All right, then we're going to move on with Rose Gold right next to that, blending it in. So Rose Gold is a bit more bronze. I could appreciate that. It's not as light as Wild Child. Now these pressed shimmers, there is a bit of follow but it's not looking bad so i like that and then i'm gonna end it with some celestial which is this beautiful purple oh my god oh wow i really like that purple i don't know if you guys could even see it i feel like my camera is not doing this palette justice for the front of the look i want to put dreamer i'm gonna bring dreamer a little higher on the top here just to define that a little bit to meet the purple wow this eye is looking bomb y'all yes okay so i'm contemplating if i should do winged liner i think i want to do a purple winged liner so i don't have purple liner so i'm gonna use lipstick i wouldn't like always recommend that because lipstick is not formulated to be near your eye but i'm gonna take a chance okay hope i don't die <laughs> so I'm gonna take Lena Lashes in Liam and this looks very close to the purple that they brought out with this Norvina palette so we'll see how this goes I'm kind of nervous I've never really used lipstick as liner before so let's see mm, I feel like the purple is not dark enough that doesn't look bad especially after I clean it up let's do the other eye okay so I'm gonna just clean up under my eye because the glitter definitely had fallen out so this is how the eyes are looking i am loving it so far i'm gonna do my mascara and my lashes and i'll be back y'all i almost forgot my um brow bone highlight so i'm gonna mix a little bit of dreamer and base wow base is light that's not what i wanted oh god mm -mm, no Okay, crisis averted. We're just gonna take Dreamer for the other side. Dreamer is also light. Oh God. Why did I just do the same damn thing? I just did the same damn thing. I thought base was the problem. Dreamer is also the problem. Okay, don't worry about that. We're gonna blend in eccentric to calm it down a bit. Let me actually take a little bit of summer. This is a shade I haven't used yet, but it's a little darker. Okay, yeah. I prefer that for the brow bone highlight. So this is the eye look. Under my brows are a little lighter than I would have liked, but I mean, it's okay. I'm gonna go pretty quickly through this, but there's a couple of things I wanna show you guys. I am gonna go in with Fenty Beauty 450 and do my foundation real quick with my Shayna B Miami sponge, which I absolutely love. Okay, y'all know that Fenty is life, so that's finished. Then I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in mahogany. Then I also want to show you guys how I contour using the Real Techniques sculpting set. I was sent this by Real Techniques, so I'm excited to try it out for you guys. So it comes with this holding case, which is super cute for these three brushes. So we're gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Matte Stick in Espresso. So I'm gonna be using this sculpting brush to just blend that out. That was pretty easy. I feel like I didn't have the right brush to do this. That's why I probably stopped doing it. And then when I tried my Beauty Blender and it was so easy, I was like, okay, Beauty Blender it is. But I really like this. That was easy, okay. Next slide. This is always like a messy part because my wig has a lot of flyaways in the front like, and it just would not behave. So this brush is like angled so I could do my nose contour as well with it. Ooh. And I kind of just like push this into my hairline. All right, I'm very pleased with this brush. I like what it did. Then I'm gonna just take the, what's the name of this again? Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Black Coffee and just set Fenty Beauty matchstick. So now I'm gonna take the setting brush 
and I think my nose needs a little bit more precision so I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit because you really don't want your contour to look too sharp you know then I'm gonna take Patrick's powder to set my under eye and then I'm gonna take water set my entire face with that bring back life to the face and um, this is actually a Real Techniques brush as well. It's their large powder brush and I absolutely love this. So now for my highlight, I'm going to be using, um, listen guys, this is one of my most favorite highlighters. It's from a company called Koi Voca. They are black owned and they were so nice enough to send this to me. And the name of it is Goddess Olivia. And mine, like, it broke. It's absolute life, y'all. Life! <laughs> so I'm going to use that fan brush and we're going to put some on the forehead. Then I'm going to take the excess and put it on my nose. I don't really like the tip of the nose highlight. I just go down like this because this fan brush just sits right in the center of your face. You can even put a little bit of the excess right on the high point of your brow arch. So we're not finished. We have to do our bottom lash line, which I always forget. I really wanted to use this color called Soul. Let me try it. Oh, Soul is nice. Soul is nice. So I'm just going to put that in the outer corner. Oh, I'm just gonna do it halfway. And then I'm gonna take Drama, which looks a lot like Liam, which is this Lena Lash lipstick that I used as the liner. Then for the inner tear duct highlight. Oh, there's one shade I didn't use, Dazzling. Let's try Dazzling. The thing about Dazzling is it's darker than Dreamer. And usually the inner tear duct highlight, you want it to be lighter. So let me put a little bit of base and then I'm gonna put Dazzling over it. That shade base? Wow, you'll see what it did to my um, brow bone. It is so pigmented. Do you see that? It's crazy pigmented and it's matte. That's a matte shade right there. Wow. What I like about this palette is that the golds are kind of pink and then the pinks are kind of gold. I am really, really loving this. Oh my God. <laughs> So I really didn't think that I would have liked this palette as much as I do. I don't even know why because honestly, Anastasia Beverly Hills makes one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. Like, you all know I always use the Shadow Couture palette. That's one of my favorites. Honestly, I could take that palette alone with me and be okay to create looks. Now, Norvina, I feel, is becoming another thing for me. Like, I feel like I could take this palette with me on a trip and create multiple looks with it. I feel like this could be an everyday palette. It really could be. Like, Soul is a beautiful color. That's what I have on my, my bottom lash line right here. I can imagine that on the lid. That probably looks amazing on your lid. I didn't think I would be gushing this much, y'all, but this is a must-have. I really like this palette. $42, we know how much Anastasia is. If you guys like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up. Please let me know in the comment section if you will be purchasing this palette. I think it's definitely worth the $42. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. I rate this palette. This palette is rated. Do you feel me? Like, you need this in your life. Enough of me trying to push the palette down your throat, but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions and comments, you know to leave them down below. Have a great day, guys. Bye.